Hello Rainbow D4C SE fans. Here I have a 1997 example and I have a 1993 example as well but this is the 1997 one and we all know that this doesn't have any particular filter on it like say a paper filter. It's just using water as a filter. So I always wondered what happens if I want to use this as a room cleaner. What will the effect be as far as particle count and humidity? That's really the point I'm trying to make here. Well, so you're looking at a room that's 960 cubic feet. Subtract 60 cubic feet for a bed and a dresser. And you're down to 900 cubic feet. Right here at the nozzle intake, you're looking at 87 CFM. And it'll do that all day long. And yes, I've got fresh, clean, cold water, and it's filled to the right level, so on and so forth. So I figure about 10 minutes, and it should cycle through just about the entire room as far as air. So let's take a look at initial conditions. Let's run this. By the way, this is the fourth time I've run this test just to make absolutely sure. Also I had some interesting issues like uh, one time I ran out of uh, camera memory. Another time the little iPad mini sitting on top of the rainbow kept falling off and sliding down so I got a piece of tape on it. Make sure it doesn't slide down because that looked ridiculous. But the results I got the previous three times are pretty much in line with what I thought it would do. So let's take a look at the relative humidity in the room and the particle count in the room. I'm going to make several spot measurements as we run the test. So without further ado, see if I can get a good focus here. That was one of my problems too, keeping good focus. Here we go, 10 minutes. <laughs>
So there's 10 very long and boring minutes. And if you're still with me, let's see the final run and the final, I think, four samples. That little buzz is the uh, little air pump that's in there. So now we have water washed the air in the entire room. You see the particle count's gone up, not only for the 0 0.3, but also for the 2.5, which is almost 10 times larger. The relative humidity's gone up. Of course, I guess the temperature's gone up a little bit. Here comes the final reading. All right, so the particle count went from 20 some odd thousand to upper 40 some odd thousands. Um, well, what do you want me to say? So water washing the air does not remove particles from the air. It adds particles to the air. So right now in this room, what does it feel like? What does it smell like? Well, it smells kind of like it's clean, you know, refreshing, but no different really than if I got a squirt bottle with water in it and kind of squirted around the room. So I assume that it's uh, attaching its water droplets, it's fine mist, you know, to some dust and dirt, but the problem is it's still emitting particles and the particle meter cannot tell what those particles are. So for better, for worse, uh, I guess I really can't recommend using an older D series, and I guess, you know, older than that, something that doesn't have a HEPA grade filter on it. And there must have been a reason they put a HEPA grade filter on it in the E22 series, probably to pass uh, particle filtration tests like this one. So I understand it's going to be controversial. I understand I've got a lot of hate mail and whatever else and a bunch of thumbs down. But uh, I just had to post this. And just so you know, the room's sealed. And this is the fourth test I've done. And I've, all got, I've gotten the same results all four times. So I hope this was a revealing test. Uh, here at VAC Lab, that's what we like to do. Um, we're definitely not prejudiced toward any machine one way or the other. So I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, happy vacuuming.